Oh. Oh man, what did I do last night? Wait, was was I doing science again? Science! Have I really never talked about STEM before? STEM is an anagram meaning science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it's basically a catch-all term for educational stuff aimed at kids. You might also see versions such as STEAM or STREAM, which adds some more basic concepts, but it all boils down to the same thing. This toy or activity is there to teach you something, and that's a good thing, right? Yeah, you've probably seen the word STEM thrown around a lot lately. A little too often, if you ask me. It's kind of become an industry buzzword, the same way gluten-free has appeared in the food industry, as though it makes up for some sort of deficit. Yeah, it's kinda lame, but at least it's educational, right? Which, honestly, I think is a bit of a wasted opportunity. If you ask me, anything that dares to call itself a STEM toy should meet the following criteria. One, it has to be engaging. It has to be fun. It's a toy, after all. It should be able to keep someone's attention the same way other toys would in order to be a viable alternative to them. Besides, people tend to learn better when they're engaged. Which brings us to number two, it's educational. A competent STEM toy helps you learn something, whether it be scientific or practical, simply by how it works. Some supplemental reading isn't too bad, but the best of these toys sneak the broccoli in with the play itself. The tough one is number three. It should promote further curiosity. The learning shouldn't stop with the toy itself. A good STEM toy should encourage those who play with it to seek out more information on the subject, instilling in them a curiosity to learn proactively, become more aware, and learn critical thinking. Now, for an example of something that meets all three criteria, we can take this Kinex roller coaster. I mean, first of all, you're building a roller coaster, and roller coasters are awesome, and it's really engaging in how you put it together. But then, after you've put it down and go back out into the world, you start to notice how a lot of things that are out in the world have been built the same way you built that roller coaster. Kind of mind blowing, actually. It turns out that in building that roller coaster, you are learning a thing or two about industrial design and, as a result, are likely to notice things like it in the outside world. That checks the other two boxes off. Now, admittedly, that's a bit of a coincidence. Connects were always supposed to be an industrial design toy, but it's still a great example of the sorts of things that a STEM product can do. For another good example, we have my Moonshot comic book back here. This is a comic book about the astronauts of Apollo 12 and what they did when they, uh, got to the moon, and this was actually included in a Saturn V rocket model kit that I got, and it acted as a perfect supplement to that toy in order to make me more interested in the space program. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. On the chopping block today, we have Beaker Creatures by Learning Resources, in particular, the Liquid Reactor Super Lab. So what are beaker creatures? They're sort of a mix of trends, combining STEM with collectibles. The creatures themselves come in these little eggs that fizz in water to reveal the toy inside, one of 35 possibilities. Each of these reactor pods cost $5 a piece and also come with some nature fact cards. You could just dunk them in a glass of water to set them off if you want to, but there is some more fun to be had in the reactor set. The reactor set comes with a set of two beakers, two large syringes, and a mixing chamber along with a swizzle stick, a pair of tongs, and two beaker creature pods. The idea of the reactor set is to allow you to see a controlled reaction between two chemicals, but in this case it's supposed to see you open a beaker creature in a way that you can add food coloring to one of the syringes to see it mixed with the dye of the pod. Or at least that seemed to be the idea. You see, the beaker creature pods that came with this set were orange and purple, and those you can't really get fantastic results with by mixing them with other kinds of food coloring, at least not the way you would with red, yellow, or blue pods. So how do these things measure up as a STEM product? Well, yeah, this seems to be a bit on the weak side. What are beaker creatures? They're bath bombs with a toy inside, which is honestly nothing new. I mean, while I am thankful that they kept the total number of collectibles down to a reasonably low 35, it doesn't feel terribly copacetic with the rest of the design. The trivia included with the pods is all over the place, where it might have been better served talking more about chemistry or even giving new experiment ideas for the reactor set. While the instruction manual does include a couple more experiments to do with the lab, such as mixing oil and water, none of them quite have the spectacle of activating the pods. And does the toy inspire further curiosity? I can't say it really does. 
At the end of the day, what you have is a pool of colored water and a little figurine. And I don't know if it inspires exploration much further than that. I mean, I bet this thing could make a mean elephant toothpaste, but that experiment isn't really included in this set. So, yeah, I'm afraid I don't think that Beaker Creatures is quite the STEM meets collectibles things that Learning Resources was going for. I mean, there's definitely some possibility here. I mean, an idea of STEM meeting collectibles, like I was saying before, if, for example, each of the collectibles came with a little kit that allows you to do something new in the reactor set, kind of like uh, what Ankama did with their two-player miniatures game where each character comes with a special mini-map that you can try to navigate with each of the characters that you own. Honestly, this has been some of the most fun I've had with it, and the idea for a STEM-themed collectible that had that kind of expansion and ability is sort of what I see the future of this sort of idea being. And that's my final verdict. Beaker Creatures may not be the best idea for a STEM collectible, but I don't think the idea is tapped out quite yet. Hopefully somebody will come up with the perfect combination of STEM and collectible that will not only encourage kids to collect all the fun figures, but also expand their world. So, until next time, this is Kodak and Science Gun!